Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm sat on a train outside Ely Station at the moment. Um, there's a bit of congestion. There's a freight there and um, we're waiting to cross over to a platform. We're going to have a look at the new railway station at Soham today, which the line to Soham is just over there. And there's another freight on the line, so waiting to come off. So it might be a while till we actually get going to Soham. But while we're waiting, I have um, something I would like to say to all my viewers, and that is thank you very much. I've just got to 4,000 subscribers, so really pleased about that. A year ago yesterday, I made a video at the Lyde Garden in Bledlow in Buckinghamshire saying thank you very much for getting to 2,000 subscribers. So if you want to have a look at that, then um, do look at the link on screen now. But yeah, 4,000 now, so I'm re really pleased about that. Um, but now, just got to wait till we get into Ely. And then we'll get our train. We're going to go and visit the newest railway station, Soham, which opened just over a week ago. That's the train we've just arrived on. So we're here at Ely. There's one of these freight trains. That's the one we could just see the end of. See the other end now. See the class 66. So we'll walk up there and have a look at that because um, we're still waiting for the train to come in from comes from Peterborough it's going to Ipswich but we're only going a few miles up the line to Soham I've never actually been on this line before so I'll have to come back and do the whole line but there's the class 66 on this freight but I don't know how long it'll be till we actually get going because as I said there is another freight on the on the branch at the moment waiting to come off so let's have to wait and see what happens but anyway there's there's a freight there class 66 I'm going to wait for my train to arrive now to take me to the new railway station at Soham. So we're on the train now, just departing Ely. That's the, fr the other freight we had to wait to come off the branch. So we are currently surrounded by freight. It's got this freight going that way. Welcome to this service for Ipswich. We will be calling at Soham, Ferry St Edmunds, Stowe Market, and Ipswich. I have to do the line Next all the way to Ipswich Soham. one day, but today I just wanted to get Soham done. See the new railway station, so let's, um, I'm going to enjoy the, I think it's about seven minutes now to so, Soham, and when we get there we'll get out and have a look around the station. What I do like about these trains is because they're diesel and electric, they have like a little loco thing in the middle. So um, I always think whenever I go on the train, on these trains, I feel like I have to walk through the loco. So you may have seen in previous videos when we went to the um, railway up at Wells Harbour, we were on a train like this, so we go through this corridor, which you can hear the diesel engines in the middle. So um, I always find that quite fun to walk through it and hear them. And um, where was the other one? We went to the East Anglian Railway Museum, and you get to this carriage here where you have like a toilet here and we the toilet are now there. So I think we're coming into Soham so. now. So let's uh, see what this new railway station brings, and then what we'll do once we've had a look at the station. We'll go for a walk around the little town. It's meant to be a pleasant market town of about 10,000 people. So um, we'll have a look, see what there is to see really. So, here we go. We're just pulling into Soham now. So let's get out and um, as soon as the train stops, see what there is to see. And we'll walk down that end now and watch the train pull out first, I think. So here we are, this is Soham Station. You can see the loco thing we walked through behind. If I can get up, so there's a footbridge up there, which I think isn't actually part of the station. It's like a public right away, but let's, let's see what there is to see. So if we can um, get through here. If we go out the station now, we can watch the loco or the 
train rather go past. It'd be nice if it was like a So this is that footbridge I said about, and I can just see the beginning of the double track section. So, so it's like pretty good for train watching bridge. So excuse me for rushing this bit, but I want to be on the bridge as the train pulls out. And then um, we'll go back down when there's less people. We'll have a look at the station itself. So there goes the train. see there the where the line becomes double track so the train coming the other way should be due fairly soon while we're up on the bridge let's just have a look down on the station so you can see it's a little single platform station so should they ever redouble this line plenty of space for a second platform and this may well become the station bridge but I think it's more at the moment it's to preserve the public right away there you go, it gives you quite a good view of Serm Station. Now, I don't know if the camera's going to pick it out, but right over there in the distance, I can just see Ely Cathedral. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to, I suppose actually, I can take this off, can't I? Because I'm not in the station, I'm um, on a public footpath. I'm going to hang around up here and wait and see the train coming the other way, arrive and depart. I'm just a stone's throw away from the new Soham railway station. This river is the Soham Lode. It's the river that flows through Soham. I'm going to pan round. That's the railway line going that way towards Bury St Edmunds. So I've never been on that track. I'll have to do get a train one day from Ipswich to Peterborough to do this line properly. And if we turn round, there's the new railway station with its footbridge. So this footpath, they've built a new footpath um, well, to here. Well, I assume the footpath was here, but they've obviously had to alter it slightly. I don't have an OS map of the area, so I don't know where it goes, but it appears to follow the river off in that direction. So that, I think that is a walk for the summer. Um, otherwise, I might be <laughs> going home with uh, very muddy shoes. But it's tarmac to here. So let, if I just get across this bit of a mud, muddy bit, um, and then back on tarmac so let's go and have a look a proper look at the station it was a bit um rushed when i got there i wanted to get out and see it go and there was various other people about and it's not a very big station so i walked down this palisade corridor you can see it's all brand new so as for the original station it was opened by the ely and newmarket railway in 1897 on the 1st of september it lasted until 1965 when um it closed there was the Soham disaster, I'll come on to that in a minute, um, an incident that happened during the war, but this, the station was formally closed in on the 13th of September 1965, and then the 13th of December 2021, it returns to the rail map. So um, what we'll do, we'll just have a, have a look. It looks very much like, um, I noticed as I came over the bridge, a couple of things, uh, I said there's talk of redoubling from Ely to Soham, which I think is probably going to be needed because if they're, they're talk of it increasing it to hourly, there doesn't seem to be any freights at the moment. But when we got here, there were, as we knew Ely, we saw there were two freights. I don't know what the plan is for this area, um, whether that will all stay, you know, as it is, or if it'll be 
a bit more landscapes, but what I can show you now, if we come to this bridge, at the moment, um, it's obviously no lifts, but the station is accessed for all because you access it off the road on that side. If we stand here, you can see, well, go up, up a little bit, you can see the station platform. So currently just one station platform, but there will, if they do double track it, obviously there'll be a second station platform. But if you have a look on the bridge, see up there, it's like a movable panel. So if they wanted to install lifts onto this footbridge, they could. So the bridge won't need to be, become useless. Um, so it will potentially be able to come the station footbridge. I assume no, the public right of way would have to be maintained. So probably it's unlikely they ever intend to install ticket barriers here. But well, if they did, they might have to change a few things. So yeah, see this panel here, that could come out and a lift could be put in. Um, and I expect it would be the same. Yeah, so that panel would also come out and they could put lifts in. I quite like the view you get from here though. So what we're going to do, we'll go down now and we'll go and have a look at the railway station. So here we are outside the front of the station. That's the big new footbridge which has just been over. There's a few network rail posters showing how, um, you know, about bringing the station back. First time since 1965, there's a picture of pretty much what we've just seen. The um, town centre is just over there, you can just see the church, so we'll go over and have a look at that. There's no ticket office, it's just a couple of ticket machines. It says Platform 1, but it's the only platform. Maybe one day there'll be another platform. Interestingly, there's a great big gate here. So it looks like if no trains were stopping, say, like if the line was closed for engineering works, they just close this gate and you can't go on the platform. Enthusiasts take note. So what we're going to do now, oh, there's some it's interesting, oh yeah, I was never going to get onto this. Here's a plaque about the Soham Rail disaster. So um, I suppose as soon as I found the plaque, I ought to talk a bit about that. What happened was, during the war in 1944, a steam hauled ammunition train was coming along here and um, it was passing through the town and what happened was the driver spotted a wagon was on fire. Now knowing that he was um, carrying munitions, he knew that if the fire spread, it would um, blow up the town and could be a huge disaster. So what they did, they uncoupled the wagon, the burning wagon, and they drove the train forward and um, the wagon exploded it destroyed most of the original station. The signal box is now at the Mid-Norfolk Railway, so that was only partially destroyed, but the point was they stopped there being a very serious tragedy, which, you know, could have potentially um, injured and killed many people in the town. Unfortunately, you know, the driver and fireman didn't survive, but, you know, they were heroes for what they did. So that is what most people think of when they hear of Soham. But right now it seems so, and um, everyone's talking about it because it's back on the rail map. So it's not a particularly big station. It actually reminds me, this bit here reminds me of, um, if you've ever been to Bicester, what's now Bicester Village Station, when it used to be called just Bicester Town, before they upgraded the line, it was a bit like this. It was basically a platform and a wall. Um, the wall was actually the old station building, but there really appears to be nothing left of the original station at all. Just... Um, but we have a new station, so as I said, there may one day, may well be another platform along there. So um, that's, yeah, looking up the track towards Ely. What I'm going to do now, though, I'm going to go back to the front of the station and um, we'll go and have a look around the town. So from the very rural view we have out over the platform, let's go and explore the town. Um, just back on the disaster, so there's this plaque here, there's one or two others around the town which we'll look out for, and here's a new plaque to say that the station was officially opened on Monday the 13th of December 2021 by the Mayor of Cambridge. So um, let's have a look this way. Also on the um, subject of the CERN disaster, the loco hauling the train, it was a steam train because it happened in 1944, it was a WD a, um, 280. There is one loco like that at the Keith Lindworth Valley Railway. I think there might be a few other British ones, British built ones in other countries. 
um, but not working. But yeah, the one that survived is at the Keeping Worth Valley Railway, and even that one, I believe it came from Sweden. So there's the whole new station forecourt. There's a sign there. It says town centre. So let's go and find a town centre. Just come up the road from the station. As I said, we're on the way into the town. If we cross the road here, though, look, I've just noticed this road here is called Station Road. And that is probably because it comes from the town to the station, but we're using it from the station to the town. So we're going to go up here and have a look at the town. So here we are in some town centre. Just in front of us up there is St Andrew's Church, which I'm hoping we'll be able to go and have a look at. So the town's got about 10,000 people, but it already had the railway passing through. It's not like they've actually opened a new bit of railway. So it really seemed a very logical thing. All they had to do was just put the station platform there and get the train to stop again. It's a bit like a similar situation um, happened at Kenilworth. That's a bigger town than this, but the same thing. They basically built a new... Um, platform, station and train stop there. I visited that a couple of years ago, have a look at the ink on the screen now you can see that one so we're now coming up here oh yeah, there's a pub called The Fountain now I noticed off Station Road a road, well lane, called Fountain Lane so I can see now why it's called what's named after this pub so we get to here, oh, this is Market Street so yeah it's a market town so I expect the market would have been held here. Let's see if we can go and see St Andrew's Church. And then um, I'm going to have a little look further down. That river we saw near the station, the same load. I want to see if we can see it flowing through the town. I like rivers as well. Right, can I get to the road? Yeah, that car's turning. Let's go and see probably the biggest building in the town and tallest St Andrew's Church. So let's go and have a look. There we go. There's a sort of park over there. Interestingly, there's some Wellingtonia trees in, in the park. I don't know if you can see them there now behind the other trees. So, yeah, there's a plodded lime tree avenue. And here's the church, so um, I'll have to stop filming to take my hat off and put my face covering on. But we'll go in and we'll have a look if we can. It says the church is open for prayer and visiting, so that's all good. Let's see if we can go and see inside. There we are inside the parish church. Just let you have a look down the nave. We'll go and have a wander up there in a moment. Um, I just want to show you, going back to the Sam Rail disaster, here's a, a plaque, so I'll let you have a look at that. So that basically tells a story. Um, I think I explained most of it, but if I've missed anything, it's in there. Nice modern wooden organ they got there. Let's walk up. I do really like churches in East Anglia. They're always big. Sometimes they're what they call corn churches. They made a lot of money from the farming and the corn because there's so much room in East Anglia, so many flat fields. They made all this money and they built these churches, although this one's probably fairly small compared to some of these so called corn churches. Must be a modern stained glass window. See the time of year. I think I'll always remember it was uh, December I came here just before Christmas. We go into the chance or is this locked? I don't know, we can go. That's interesting. There's like a glass door here. I don't know why that is. So this is the chancel. Very beautiful. Maybe it's something to do with the heating because they've effectively put a glass screen all the way up there so that it doesn't interrupt flow of your vision go through to here so this will be um, the south transept where the Christmas tree is hmm. even with face coming on I can smell that nice smell of um, of pine needles traditional sort of Christmas smell so this is St Andrew's Church go back outside now we'll have a finish looking around the town maybe time to go out station and get the train back to Ely I've now come down to the other end of the busy high street. It's the Red Lion pub. 
it's got one of those things the glass going in you know where you um, get the model for shoes just here though is another plaque to the Soham disaster where the ammunition drain you know exploded but as I said the driver and fireman made sure it wasn't a huge explosion just the one wagon and the others were left behind there's a on this memorial it's like a bit of an artwork depicting a destroyed train let you have a look at that and then um, in front of it is the the, the war memorial which um, most towns and villages have what I'm going to do now though I'm going to head for the road over there because as I said I want to go and have another look at the Soham Lode the little river which flows through the town I think well, there's another pub there called the Ships so I'm gathering we're probably going to end up around there if I can follow the river so I'll go and see if that's possible I'm just come down from the main street that's just over there as I said we're going to go and have a look at the river which flows through the town so we get to here and um, there it is it kind of opens up into a bit of a pond and there's a, a lot of ducks i think if i follow this footpath i might be able to go around in a bit of a circuit and like i said i should be able to come out by that pub called the ship be a nice town to come to and go for walks further out there's another footpath there probably goes out into the fields around so if i had an os map and it was the summer i might have planned a bit of a longer walk but today just doing this. So this is the southern load flowing through. It goes off round there. So we'll see where that goes. Never seen so many ducks. And yes, it has kind of been become a bit of a duck pond. But there's a lot of ducks. Look all over there as well by those bungalows. If we go over this little bridge here. It looks like we've pretty much come to the very edge of the town. So many ducks. More ducks. So, yeah, that probably will take me back to the town. Let's just have a little look this way. So as you can see now, the river goes right out into the countryside. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna head back. There's another river here. Yeah, so I'm gonna head back towards the town. It's tempting to try and go for a longer walk. Anyway, I better go and head back to the town because trains are only every two hours. So I've gone around, found where the river comes back to the main street. Not much to see on that side because there's a huge bush. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to head back to the railway station and it's time to go home. So as I now head back to the station, that's the war memorial and where the um, some disaster memorial is. You can just see the church over there. Uh, I've really enjoyed coming to visit so It's nice to see another place on the railway map and as I said it was a fairly easy one to do because the railway was already here they didn't need to reopen the railway they just need to reopen the station but as time goes on um, I hope we'll be visiting more new railway stations the most recent one I did was Battersea Power Station extension of Northern Line that also included a new station at Nine Elms if you want to see that video have a look at the link on screen now so that was the last one I did we have since had the new station at Oakhampton open which I did think about going down to but I had quite a lot else on so I think that would be one I'll probably do in 2022 but I really would like to go down there and do that bit of line and see the station have a look around the town it's got a castle and everything so I've um but yeah as I said I've enjoyed exploring so it's always nice to come and see another little town I hope you enjoyed this video thank you very much for watching please do feel free to like subscribe and comment Merry Christmas to all my viewers and Happy New Year, Happy 2022 and as I said at the very beginning, thank you very much for getting me to 4,000 subscribers and um, you know, keep sharing, keep liking, commenting and you know, sooner or later I'll be making one saying thank you very much for 5,000 subscribers so thank you very much and uh, from Soham as I head back to the station, goodbye.